Amid a migrant surge that continues to this day, we don't always see what goes into securing our borders. Tonight, I'm taking you to Artesia, New Mexico, where the U.S. Border Patrol is getting ready for the ever-changing challenges of monitoring the invisible lines separating the United States and Mexico. His buddy just showed up. Take care of business. The culture of the Border Patrol starts at the Border Patrol Academy. Oh, what we train, how we train, and what we do. Pick him up and slam him. Pick him up and slam him. Starts here. At a glance, these are images we see all too often on our screens. You're put in a situation where you have to think in a high stress environment. And the instructors are there, but they're, they're just there observing. Stop the threat, stop the shooting. Just one of many real life scenarios U.S. Border Patrol trainees encounter at the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center. Stepping out of the bus, they're yelling at you right away, they're getting you commands. Um, a lot of chaos going on. Getting in line. As he ran away, he dropped the baton right there. The academy is now a 117-day program and much more challenging. Get in there, affect the arrest. A very fast-paced environment. No room for errors. Every second, every minute spent drilling the trainees. The trainees are put through every test. Dealing with suspects. <laughs> and the effects of using pepper spray. What you're going to do now is you're going to keep your composure. <laughs> it was intense, actually. It was it for your mighty Sabor. You try to get the job done to the best of your abilities. <laughs> and just get the job done. Get back home safe. Enroll! There's also firearms training. <laughs> Including identifying a key danger signs and suspects. I could have been here distracting with this one, and I could have something on this side, right? So, so be be more aware of that. Two different tactics. U.S. Border Patrol, we will send in the dogs if you do not come out. Identifying the criminal element. Sit on the ground, sir. Take a seat. What has been the most difficult for you? The physical training, PT. It's every day you think you can't get harder. Oh, it gets harder. It's it's very. It's very strenuous, but it's it's some um, strength building. One of the programs that has evolved significantly is processing because of a large number of migrants traveling with children. Peter Huck is a deputy chief patrol agent at the training academy in Artesia, New Mexico. He's been with the patrol for 23 years. The influx of the uh, people we're seeing from the Northern Triangle, it has changed. Numero, numero for numero en que en que año, right? One by one. The deputy chief tells me one of the highlights of this new training is packing more than 180 hours of Spanish. It's no longer an option to test out of the language course. The goal is to learn ways to better communicate with Spanish speakers. Spanish is interwoven throughout the entire academy. While at the academy, trainees also go through medical emergency decision scenarios, a crucial component that helps prepare agents for encountering families. They also have to learn how to ask an alien if they're sick, if they're hurting, if the mother needs medication for the child or formula or pampers. They have to know how to communicate that way so that we make sure that we're doing everything we can to make sure that kids don't go unnoticed or unchecked, you know, as, as it relates to their health. With the recent emphasis on hiring more agents, I exchanged the tools of my trade to learn what it's like to gear up for duty. Up yours, up yours, up yours. There you go. There you also go. testing my overall fitness on the same course as trainees. Alrighty, about to do the PT test. The weather out here a little chilly and it's starting to rain out here. Let's see if I'm cut out to be a Border Patrol agent. You want to just kind of do a quick little stretch? Because I don't want you to pull anything. We're at 915. Let's go. Pick it up. I guess you can say this. 922. <sighs> 922 mile time. Big job. Not bad. Not bad. Minutes, 18.
<laughs> it's definitely not easy. Yeah, so we, we always tell the trainees, don't put your hands on your head, don't put your hands up, don't put your hands in the air. The one thing that we tell the trainees when they EOD is they are going to earn everything when they leave here. It's not going to be given to them. Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. Four, five, four, three, two, one. Days of studying and a grueling training. Strong bonds are formed. Searching. Searching the media area for weapons, sir. The challenge gets trainees to motivate each other to cross the finish line, earning that badge. I'm really excited to finish this academy and get out in the field. Our agents don't leave humanity at the at, at the door when they go to work. They're all people with families. Check it, check it, check it. Good job.